Hey, what's up, guys? So it's late. I'm about ready to go to bed, and I don't have a shirt on. You don't really want to know what else I don't have on. But anyway, you think about that while I give you this update. Uh, I just wanted to give you a quick update. The video may not be the best quality because I'm uploading it directly, but I wanted to show you what I did to um, my EPG to get it glued and how I set it up. Okay, so here we go. All right. I want to thank everybody for the uh, comments you left me on how to do stuff. I still have not been able to get to my YouTube, so bear with me. Here it is. This is the epoxy I used. I used, uh, this is the second one of these. I think these were like four bucks. Not too bad. Um, so I've used mm, over half of this one. And uh, hopefully, uh, I'll probably end up having to buy another one because I still have to do underneath here okay so just so you guys know here's what I did it's how I made this uh, get all the way it is um, basically I've clamped this together as you can see and that was to get it flat um, and then what I did was put ties around here and I could have used a couple more but it's all I had on hand so I put ties around here um, these uh, what are those called like pipe clamp type ties and uh, what I did is pulled the pipes together. Now I had to I had to get get all this stuff pulled pretty tight, and then uh, kind of work it around so basically this point would stay steady, and then from from here all the way around to one loop to here, and then from this loop around and back to here I had to make sure that these two were tight together um, all the way around. So. Um, so that the divider plates fit a little better and didn't have to trim them um, because there's every little once in a while especially I'm sure under here is uh, going to be I'm going to have to cut the divider plates just slightly um, one thing I did want to show you is on the um, oh now I lost my train of thought oh I told you guys I was going to use tape for this uh, let me find what I did with that roll here it is Alright, so here's the roll of tape, and here's what I did. Uh, I stuck this on my lathe like this, and I made this attachment a long time ago, but basically it's just a razor blade. And basically what I did is just ran that razor blade. Uh, let's see if I can get this focus. There you go. I just ran that razor blade right there, just right on into that tape, just like that. Alright, so I'd come out with this thin strip. I should really take that blade off there, it's kind of bad, dangerous. I thought I did, but I, I didn't. So I took this tape, as you can see, is cut it. And what I was going to do, and actually what I did, was uh, put the tape basically right here on the outside, that thin strip, okay? And uh, that was supposed to be my divider, uh, insulation divider. And unfortunately, um, the tape wanted to smear and everything, and it just wasn't very good. It'd be better to use a clear tape. If I did it again, I could, but I was even afraid that the clear tape would tear because of the tension I was pulling when I was getting all this just right. So what I did, and I don't know where it went, I had some plastic, uh, some thin plastic. You can see my trash cans needs to be emptied. Anyway, I had some thin plastic. Uh, man, I'll just get that whole thing so you can see it. Basically, it, it, I don't even what I don't know what this was but some packaging material but you can see how thin it is it's real thin plastic okay and I cut the top out of it as you can see here and cut individual pieces and I think um, you can't even see that there's one right there alright see that thin plastic okay I put those in between here because I got enough tolerance on my divider plates to make this work so I, I put those in between pretty much the entire thing uh, strips about three inches long so let's see eh, two inches two inches long some of them are longer I cut them the other way but you know I, I, I spaced those out I got them in here clamped this stuff together flattened it out got it all insulated and then uh, literally just you can see the epoxy literally just put the epoxy on there see it real good right there and uh, just did that all the way around and that's it. Uh, it did come through a couple spots, like here. Um, but it's I smashed it up as it was drying, so it's flush. And nonetheless, I can take a grinder and nip it. 
Um, supposedly, this glue, uh, and I want to thank Mike Powers for looking this up and telling me it's non-conductive. I greatly appreciate the effort. Um, and a few of you other people told me to uh, clean this with certain items and stuff. Um, I actually used some weird chemical. I don't even know what it's called. It didn't work the best, but it's enough to clean it off uh, to get this stuff to stick. So I didn't help you much there on what I used, but some weird cleaner chemical for paint. Um, so, yeah, uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Just rambling on now, but I wanted to get to, I wanted to show you just real quick where I'm at. So next step is flip this over and do the bottom. So that's what I was saying. I probably got to get another one of these. Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm off to bed now, and uh, if you saw anything below my head, I apologize. It's Russ, rwgresearch.com. Today is the 30th, 8 30, 2011. Um, peace out, guys. Peace and love. Leave me comments. Um, let me know what you think. We'll get them divider plates on there and start wrapping some coils. Peace. Nah, I didn't shut off. Messy, messy, messy.